Hey guys, it's Stacy here. Welcome to my channel, Life's a Project, where I like to share my everyday life projects with you. And today's project is planting up these two self-watering containers. These are the Rim Self-Watering Containers by Crescent Garden. The color is Caviar Black. These are in the 18 inch size. So they're supposed to be about 18 inches wide and tall. Of course, you can see that they taper down to the bottom, but these have the True Drop self-watering system, and I'm so excited. These are actually a Christmas present from James, and I've had them stored in the garage just waiting to plant these up. You can see here's where the water goes, and there's the gauge for the self-watering system, and here is a tag that kind of shows a little bit more, and you can see how it works. The soil goes inside, you can see the water reservoir. And so, really neat, I am super excited. So over here in this other container, I've already removed the sticker so you can see down in here. So you can see where the soil will go all the way to the bottom and through these holes where the water will come in and the soil will be able to wick up that moisture and the plants will be able to, um, you know, access uh, the water. So really neat idea. I'm really excited on how it's going to do as the season goes on. I'm hoping that I won't have to water every day in those really hot months. Um, um, it is supposed to be lightweight, which it is, but it'll be a little heavier once it's filled with, uh, you know, plants, dirt, and water. And it's supposed to be a weatherproof, crackproof, 10-year warranty. So this little red piece here is a drainage plug. So it screws into the drainage hole so that you can use it as an indoor planter. But when you're gonna use it outside, you'll want to remove that red plug so that when it rains, your container will be able to drain. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just show you the plants that James and I picked out to go in these containers. So guys, take a look at these plants. They're so pretty. Now, James and I just went out one day and did kind of a plant haul and just picked up several plants to do several containers. Uh, and these are some of those plants. And you know, they say there's rules to planting, but really when you own the container, you own the plants, you can make the rules. So I just pick out plants that I like, that I think are pretty, that I like the color, and just look at this color blue. So most of these plants are annual, but these are perennial. You can see these delphinium here. They're so beautiful, just that true blue, kind of a dusting of this kind of white silvery look. These are called Blue Diamonds Delphinium. They're an upright perennial, and they bloom spring and summer. And perennials will come back every year. I live in Kentucky, I'm a zone six. These are a zone three, good to negative 30 to negative 40. Um, grow 16 to 24 inches tall so I think a really good plant and I can you know use it again it'll come back next year and then next I have here these are beautiful I just think the blooms are just so perfect and that beautiful coral color so these are osteospermum they like full Sun called coral magic now on the back of the tag here, it talks about spacing and the height of the plant, 10 to 14 inches. So it'll be a little bit shorter than the delphinium. And with spacing and containers, I mean, these are annuals, they'll grow pretty quickly. Um, but you want your containers to look, you know, beautiful and full. Um, so it does uh, give you a good idea of how, you know, much these plants will spread out. Now this beautiful flower here, that beautiful white and kind of purpley fuchsia this one is called lavender frost so so beautiful it's the same as the other one it likes full Sun um, just a beautiful flower so the next one down here is this beautiful dahlia. Dahlias are just so pretty with all of the petals and you can see, I think this one's called like purple and white, but really it looks more kind of a, a purpley pinkish fuchsia uh, dipped in white. Uh, a bicolor flower blooms all season long, it likes full sun. Uh, you can see the height is 16 to 18 inches tall. And you know, you can uh, choose to treat dahlias like an annual, but you can also, um, after they finish blooming, kind of dig out their tubers and plant them the next year, kind of like, you know, you do with tulip bulbs. 
And then these down here are beautiful super bells by Proven Winners. These are called Yellow Chiffon Calibracoa. You can see here the height is 6 to 12 inches. Now I had some of these last year, not in the yellow chiffon, but the um, pink and yellow, they were called um, Hollywood Star, I think. Um, and they did really well in a hanging basket. And so I'm really excited about this one. It kind of mounds up. Uh, trails over the sides of containers. So great for, like I said, hanging baskets, also window baskets. Now over here, these are all the same plants except for this dahlia over here. So in the container, I did choose different dahlias. So this one, so pretty with the yellow, kind of corally pink. So I just think these are going to be so pretty. So I'm really excited to go ahead and get these planted up. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I have here some miracle Grow potting mix. Now, I don't care to use this in my flower containers because I don't eat my flowers, but anything like my vegetable garden containers, um, I will use um, bagged organic products like um, organic potting mixes and peat moss and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and finish filling up this container with soil and I'm going to work in some organic fertilizer and go ahead and get this container planted up. guys I got the first one planted up and I think it turned out really pretty I love the mix of color now you can see a lot of space showing a lot of soil showing right now uh, in the front and in the center I did space these five plants out I gave them room uh, to grow uh, you could plant more plants in here but I really like to give especially these annuals some room to grow uh, because they'll grow quickly just in a couple of weeks these super bells will be mounting up and growing over the edge so I have my second container filled with potting mix. I've added the fertilizer. I just got to work that in. But first I wanted to show you how I'm going to be filling up this container with water. So down here I have a watering can. This is a two gallon watering can. You can use that, but you'll have to remove the end piece, which is called the rose, or you can use your water hose, but you'll have to remove the sprayer. So I'm going to be using the water hose because that'll work much quicker to fill up this container.
here they are all planted up and I think they turned out really pretty and I've got them all filled with water so guys I hope you enjoyed this video I'm super excited to see how these containers do especially when I get into the really hot months I hope I'll be able to go a week or so without having to water that would be great um, and not have to water every day so that was the whole point of getting these containers in the first place so guys if you have any questions or comments place them down in the comment section below I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you will subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future projects and remember that plant haul we do have more container videos showing you beautiful plants coming up really soon so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one bye